Hi, it's me again with Corel Doll Tips and Tricks. I'm going to attempt to show you this, and if you happen to watch it, this you think the same video from last night. I had to erase that one because I had a little problem. A gentleman, uh, either a viewer or subscriber, sent me, uh, he'd watch one of my tessellation videos. I've made a lot of tessellations over the years, but I've never made one like this. So holding down the control button, I'm going to draw a six-sided polygon, which is a hexagon. And then I'm going to I'm going to mimic his instructions. Um, take the freehand tool, and I'm going to try to go kind of like what he's got here. And then I'm going to go outside of the line and come back. And you need to make sure you're there and see that last little bit. Sometimes uh, you don't know whether you got it or not. And I'm actually going to go off to it and snap it to that node. Now what you need to do is take that line, control D, make a duplicate and rotate it from that edge. Now we don't know if it's 120 or 240, so we can just get it close and now it needs to be 120. So now what he did over here, he just took a, uh, he actually showed me a thin line versus a thick line, but he went from line to line. So we're going to take a, freehand tool and we're just going to go out and in and back to our line. I'm not going to worry too much about how perfect it is, but see, you need to check this because uh, that would be detrimental to your drawing. We'll actually take away that node and see what happened. That looks pretty good. Let's take away that one. Just see, we got a good smooth curve there. Control D and duplicate it, but this time move the rotation of this corner. And like I said, I could type in, you know, 120, and I'm right. But you never really know, or a mathematician might know which way. Freehand tool, this time he just made a, a slow F, and he purposely did not go to either corner. So here's kind of the key. Let's make this a little bit better looking. Well, that didn't work at all. Let me go back. I just need to kind of fix that node. There we go and fix this one. And then you can see on the line, I've, I'm, you know, you don't realize how shaky your hand is on your mouth till you have something like this. And then I would take it off and make sure you're there. Now, on this one, we need to rotate it from here. So we're going to control D with the duplicate, move the rotation of here, and then I'm just going to rotate it pretty close, and you can see it needs to be 120. Now, I'm going to use the Smart Fill tool, but just in case I have a leak, I'm going to put a rectangle. I don't expect a leak, but we need to delete the parts of the drawing that would stop it from going outwardly. Not the ones that are going in, but the ones that are going out. And then take the Smart Fill tool, and it didn't leak, so we're good to go. Now, here's the tricky, not tricky part, the, to me, the fun part. Left click, right click, and I'm going to rotate from that point right there. So I'm going to control D and make a duplicate and move that rotation to there and rotate it 120 degrees. Control D, there is our tessellation. Now here's where I messed up last night. I kept thinking you could continue rotating it. And there might be a way, but this is what you do here. You control G. Well, you know what? Before we do that, let's make them different colors. Um, just so we can kind of see when we test, make the tessellation. And then what you're gonna do here is group this together. And then I like trying to find a sharp point like there's a sharp point right there. So when I hit the plus key, I'm gonna grab that sharp point and I'm gonna put it to that sharp point. And then once you did that on one stroke, you can control D and make your tessellation whatever you want it. I can actually make this smaller now because it doesn't really matter. You know, we're not using anything to move it except for hand movement. So now we can take this one, hit the plus key on the keyboard and I, I don't really see a sharp point except for that one right there. And then you got to think about where it's going to fit. and It's going to fit right 
It should just snap to it. There's a, it, it's almost easier if you don't fill them in first. Let me zoom in here. See, I've got that sharp point right there and it needs to go right there. And then once you did that, control D, making, well, you know what, instead of doing that, since you didn't move it all on one stroke, control D to make a duplicate of all of it and then put that one there. And you could just keep going until the cows come home. Now, I want to make another video. He took this doll, he made it, he drew the piece and then he rotated it. Somehow he penciled it in. There's his tessellation. I'm going to attempt to, to do this. It's going to be hard to match his drawing, but uh, we're going to give it a shot. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.